Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the sports video. So I'm going to share today a very interesting and important info of cricket. I think all the cricket people like Australia, England, New Zealand, South Africa, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, uh, Ireland, Scotland, Zimbabwe, Kenya, and all other. Then six, another in the grid, and a buck from something to the third. The walls are very, very classic, classic, and one of the biggest. The bottle, sure, try the garbage. So I think it's good. Highest uh, run is third in a innings, 400 run, not out, and Test cricket was the holder of the, this record. So now, one by one, I'm going to share their uh, career stats. So at first, I'm starting from the Sachin Tendulkar, the great Indian batsman I ever produced. After Sunil Gavaskar, Sachin uh, flourished mo most of the. Uh, I think late 80s, 90s, and then uh, early 2000, then 2010, 2013. He is a phenomenal cricketer, 24 uh, years of the career. And in ODI, he has scored, I think, more than 18,000 rounds and test uh, more than 1,500 rounds, almost 1,600. 16,000 runs, a big pattern. 18,000 in ODI and test is. Almost 16,000. So, and phenomenal career stats. The average in ODI is uh, almost 45, which is very much uh, good average, great average. And test is 53.78, very good batting average. And he's the only one person in the art who scored 100 of 100 combinedly in ODI and test. ODI 49 and test 51 and then uh, 50s also highest number of 50s is scored by such in 96 of them and uh, look at the career span as 24 years of career so it started at 1989 and ended at 2013 2012 last ODI 2013 last test and uh, he achieved for both 10,000 runs uh, 2000 run club uh, in for ODI he took 11 years 103 days and for test cricket he flourished uh, in 10,000 club for 15 years 121 days 
phenomenal cricketer. And he took 259 innings to get a 10,000 run in ODI and 195 innings for test cricket as well. And total runs is good, I have already mentioned in the least. Now I'm going to another great who is called the Ricky Ponty, the Australian great. And a very classy, very, very aggressive person. Under any circumstances, he's the great number three batsman. Australia ever produced. Very compiled, well compiled, good technique, and very classy. And look at the stats. The stat started his career as 1995 until 2012, last year, last ODI. A very good average in ODI 42, which is very much acceptable. Great average and 51 for the test as well. And very good strike as well. And uh, yes, Kirby. seven days uh, to get the 10,000 runs club, uh, 12 years, 37 days and 10,000 test cricket club he achieved 12 years, 174 days and he took 266 innings in the United States, 10,000 runs and for test, 196 days. So here is the stat for Ricky Ponting, I'm jumping through for Kumar Singh started as a wicketkeeper batsman for Sri Lanka and the, the latter part of his career uh, he, he given up uh, keeping wicket keeping he given up and uh, concentrated on his uh, on his concentrated much on his uh, batting rather than wicket keeping and Sri Lanka uh, introduced another wicket keeper in spite of him because he played throughout the second half of his career as a full number three batsman, specialized number three batsman. So look at his career, his phenomenal career. Uh, he played only 15 years, so it's less, less than any other cricketer who achieved 10,000 runs. So uh, he took 296 innings to get to uh, 10,000 runs for ODI and for test 195 innings into just 10, uh, 10,000 calf of test cricket and 25 centuries in ODI and 938 and 38 centuries in test cricket and look at the 50 plus innings, 93 in ODI, great. And uh, he took 11 years, 227 days to get uh, 10,000 calf uh, in ODI and for test he took 12 years, 159 days. Very good average in ODI 41.98 and test cricket greater than 57.4. I think best among the others in the list is the best in, in this business. That means the test cricket he was supreme class. Now I'm going to jump for the South African great Jack Callis, the modern day cricket. He was the phenomenal all round cricketer, so he was a phenomenal active all rounder. Abdul Rajak, uh, English cricketer Andrew Flintoff, and I think after the 80s era of uh, uh, the great Kapil Dev, Imran Khan, Sarian Botham, uh, Richard Hadley. So 90s introduced with Jack Callis, Abdul Razak, Andrew Flintoff, this kind of cricketers. And nowadays, uh, for each and every format, uh, Shakib Al Hassan is the best in this business as an all rounder. So let's see uh, the Jack Callis batting uh, ability, which is I think uh, overwhelmed by his batting. His bowling was uh, less impactful rather than his batting. His batting was phenomenal. So let's see his uh, stand. Uh, he started his career in ODI 1996 and Test 1995. He took 272 innings to get into uh, 10,000 plus for ODI, and for Test he took 270. Very good average of 44.36 for ODI and 55 for test. Phenomenal cricket and 100 in ODI for 17 times and 45 times for test cricket. And uh, he took 30 years, 14 days to get into 10,000 class for ODI and for test cricket he took 30 years, 74 days. Fantastic cricketer. Now I'm going through for Mahela Jab. Very, very a well compact match winning person for Sri Lanka in the middle 
father, he was a fantastic batsman after uh, Aravinda de Silva. So after the, uh, I think, uh, retirement of uh, Aravinda de Silva, uh, Mayala Jayavadana was the best. He was the supreme. He was in his supreme task. So uh, let's see his career. He took uh, 13 years of 289 days to get into 10,000 club for OEI and 332 innings he took. Batting average was, was phenomenal, 33. And uh, for test cricket, it was even better, 49.84. And uh, he scored 1900 in ODI and 3400s in test cricket. And his career span also almost 17, 18 years. He started his test career in 1997 and his ODI in 1998. It's a phenomenal match. and 13 years 250 days to get into 10,000 club in test cricket and 270 innings he took for ODI and 195 innings took for test cricket test 10,000 club and he took my uh, career span is 17 years that means for ODI uh, he started at 1990 and last ODI played as 2007 and test 2006 very good batting average and Plus, with a strike rate of almost 80, and Test cricket is even destructive. Uh, very good strike rate of 60 plus 52.88. The Test batting average very good. 34 Test uh, uh, centuries, 34 Test centuries, and ODI 19 centuries. And in Test cricket, he was the holder of highest uh, run in uh, in an innings. So he, uh, here is the uh, here is the last but not the least. He is the great cricketer of West Indian match winner and he took 270 innings for ODI to get into the 10,000 club and 195 innings in Test cricket as well to get into 10,000 club. So here is the info, uh, guys. I hope you enjoyed the info. Only the seven guys, uh, only the seven men who scored 10,000 run in both formats Test and ODI. So I hope you enjoyed the info. See you next time with more interesting uh, videos, more interesting info. I am gonna I'm gonna share with you. So till then.